This is the daily prayer video for Friday, August 11th, 2023 for Trinity United Methodist Church in beautiful downtown Prince Frederick, Maryland, where I jack wood for serve as a certified lay master. And as I've shared with you all before, I like to do these from different locations. However, um, today I'm uh, recording this from the back deck of my my residence in Prince Frederick. Today I'm reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 5 to 8. And this is Jesus speaking. And he says, when you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, that they may be seen by others. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who is in secret. And your father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do. For they think that they will be heard for their many words. Do not be like them. For your father knows what you need before you ask him. Growing up, I remember hearing many people pray throughout my life in church. I would hear prayers said aloud. I remember Christians bowing at the altar of the church, praying for God to intervene in their circumstance. There were prayer groups that I remember being part of as well. As I reflect back on those many prayers, I, I, that I heard, I, I, I remember a wide variety of prayers that I overheard. Some of them were long, some of them were short, some of them prayers were loud, and some were no words. There were simply tears shed, and it seemed as they poured their heart out to God. There were so many different types of prayers that were said. There's one thing that I learned about prayer through all of this. A prayer is individual. In other words, what you say for your prayer may not work for what I need in my prayer. Your circumstances are not mine, just as mine are not yours. We all face different things each day and need God to intervene. What Jesus gives us an example of prayer in the passage in the in, uh, Matthew, he gives some guidance that we all can take to heart in teaching. Jesus shares that we should not use vain repetitions. In other words, don't use, don't just say long, drawn out, repetitive things, thinking that will do the trick. Instead, he encourages us to be sincere and personal in what we say. Some people want to make prayer difficult. They believe they are, there are key words you have to say or key repetitions that you should make. Instead, God wants to hear your heart. Tell him exactly what you are feeling. Share with him what you are experiencing. Let us pray. Father God, we know that you know what we are going to ask for before we ask for it. Father God, you know what our needs are better than we do. Father God, you teach us in Matthew chapter 6, verse 7. When you pray, do not heap, heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. I'm one that likes to keep things simple. Today, I am going to ask those that are listening to or watching this video to join me in this prayer that Jesus taught us to pray like this. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. 
Amen. Jesus tells us, do not make prayer more difficult than it should be. Whether or not the words come out perfect isn't being judged by God. Instead, he's looking for your honesty and sincerity. Always remember what Pastor Jim Swecker always reminds us. Wherever you are or whatever you are doing, that Jesus walks with you. And if you look around, there may be someone praying for you. Have a great weekend.